Supply chain management is an iterative process that requires coordination and collaboration across many departments, such as operations, marketing, sales, and finance. Companies of all sizes need to match supply and demand as efficiently as possible. In this demo, we'll examine a consumer product goods company with a six-month planning period and see how to create a more accurate demand forecast and production plan. Before we start, let's look at the historical data through December. In IBM Planning Analytics, all of your plans, budgets, and forecasts are created and stored in the same application, meaning all users are working with the same data set, creating one version of the truth. Changes to one plan will automatically update and flow to other plans. And centralized business rules can be applied to all plans if required. In this example, revenue and production for the past year is split by product and region. With a rich, customizable interface, we can easily add visuals to track KPIs and spot trends. We noticed a downward trend since March. Let's see if this will continue. The forecast is based on transactions from the past three years. We can see the forecast in summary view or drill down into individual products and markets. Since we've already created our baseline demand forecast, our marketing, product, and sales teams can now make adjustments. In this example, marketing is creating a campaign to promote the 200S product. Our marketing manager increases the forecast by 100 units for January and for every subsequent month by 20%. Our demand planner can now make adjustments, and in this case, he increases demand by 2,000 units for the year. Notice, our marketing manager and demand planner are updating the same plan. IBM Planning Analytics makes collaboration across the organization easier and adds transparency and visibility throughout the planning process. Now that the demand forecast has been updated, we'll create a manufacturing plan to deliver the number of units needed for each product according to the increased demand. Starting with the capacity limits from last time, we can adjust the number of units to be produced at a certain plant in a given period to reflect a potential increase in the number of shifts. Or, we can decrease the units to reflect scheduled maintenance operations. Now that we know the forecasted demand and capacity plan, we can align the production plan to keep enough units on hand in our inventory. Our projected inventory falls below zero, indicating that we will face product shortages and subsequent lost sales. Our capacity limits are too low and will prevent us from producing enough inventory to satisfy demand. Let's increase the capacity limits for the first two months of the year by putting a new shift policy in place so that production lines will operate for longer hours than before. With this adjustment, let's calculate a new production plan to take advantage of the additional capacity. The new production plan ensures that the projected inventory remains positive throughout the planning horizon. The two tallest bars in the graph indicate a significant increase in production during the first two months, thanks to our higher capacity limits. With IBM Planning Analytics, it's easy to create what-if scenarios to represent different sets of inputs. For example, we were just informed of a new promotion with a different product mix. Following the same steps, we can quickly create a new scenario as a test case and compare alternatives side by side to see the effects on demand, production, and inventory. In addition to testing assumptions, we can easily expand our plans to include new manufacturing processes or product lines. Finally, it's imperative to connect our operations plan with our financial plan. Here, we can see the impact of production changes on the income statement for each of the scenarios we created. We can easily see how much revenue will come from the increased sales and the changing costs, so we can improve profit growth for our business. To conclude, with IBM Planning Analytics, we can improve supply chain efficiency with advanced planning and forecasting capabilities and align our strategic financial goals with our operational targets.